Hello again, this is Piotr Walczysz and Adobe Developer Evangelist. Uh, so this is our sixth episode from a series where we built a PhoneGap application connected to Force.com. Uh, so this time we'll create an additional uh, view uh, with the details of the opportunities and or of a single opportunity actually that user selects on the list that we created in a previous uh, lesson. Okay, so uh, let's quickly get started. So if we go back to our source code that we generated and let's go into our main view and let's start here. Uh, let's add an event handler that will listen on click events uh, registered uh, to the uh, list of opportunities. Uh, so I already have a snippet for that and let's add that. So what we have here in those events declaration, and this is a backbone specific um, uh, way of declaring events uh, on DOM elements that are uh, linked with our, uh, with our view. So as a key of this uh, hash map here, we specify a selector of that event. So we say, okay, listen for click events on uh, list items of list opportunities and this is a syntax of like a jQuery uh, selector syntax and then we have a function so we, as a string we specify here a function that can be triggered once this event uh, is um, well is triggered so as well uh, okay so let's uh, let's create that function here so we can go somewhere to the bottom of that screen and let's create a new function and the function has an event parameter. So from that event parameter, we can actually get a model, an uh, opportunity model that was uh, in the item renderer linked with that element. So let's go here, let's declare like opportunity uh, variable that we'll uh, want to get from the selected item. And here we can event current target, there we go and we use data attributes for that and we named it model it, and it's all in item render if you don't remember take a look in the initialize function there now very important thing we'll use a jquery mobile um, navigator um, extension that i created so let's go jquery mobile and jqm navigator and with JQM Navigator, you can actually push a new view on top of the stack. So it will cover our current view. So let's push new view. And this new view, let's give it some name. Uh, so let's, let's say, call it um, Opportunity Details uh, View. And we pass to that view our opportunity as a model property. So let's do like this. Okay, so opportunity details view, of course, we have to define the reference uh, uh, to that uh, jQuery or require JS actually uh, module. Uh, so let's go here. Well, we don't have this yet, so let's just put it like this and it will be in the same folder and we'll in just a second create it. Okay, so we created the reference, we got it, we can now uh, go out of here so let's just take a look what went wrong okay i see that i didn't close it all right so let's let's create that view then so we go here new javascript file of course uh there we go and here i have another snippet uh where is the details view here we go so let's let's take a quick look what happens here. Uh, so first, uh, view this again. This is a backbone view wrapped into a required JS module. Uh, so we create this backbone view. It also has an event uh, handler registered. So it listens to a back button uh, click event, and we'll, we'll take a look at how the back button is declared in uh, jQuery Mobile on um, specific HTML. And then we go into render function where we can see we have. Uh, and we use again underscore templating engine to generate the content of our view um, uh, 
view HTML. Uh, so we use uh, opportunity details template, which we have to create, and we pass to that template Again, uh, sort of a JSON of height or, uh, well, a, a, an object, uh, a J JavaScript object actually that represents our model. And so once we are done with that, let's create our template. So we have the name here again in the same folder and uh, just a simple file. And I should have a template snippet somewhere. Oh, that's not the one. Excuse me. Mm, so let's try again. Uh, details template. There we go. So let's see what happens here. So first of all, and so it's a it's a complete view, so that it covers our current um, list view. And in the header section, we define a button that will be on the left hand side, uh, and that button is uh, has an ID back button back, and it will be just a uh, icon button, so no text. And will be displayed with it. Uh, then there is a header, and inside of the content of our new view, we'll display um, a name of the opportunity. Underneath the name, we'll put an um, account name that is linked with the opportunity, and then we'll put a close date and of course, that close date uh, it will be here injected. Of course, we could do some formatting of dates here. Uh, we could put more data and so on. But I think that's enough to um, to give you some uh, understanding how it works. So if I just quickly go back here, let's see. Uh, last thing, what happens in the back uh, button back click handler? So in this case, it's using also JQM Navigator to pop the view. So Currently, if I'm displaying this view, I cover the list, and I, if I want to go back to the list, it's just enough to call on the JQM navigator, call the pop view function, so it will actually uh, pop this uh, details view from uh, from my app. All right, so um, that's basically uh, what we needed to do. Now let's give uh, give it a try. So I should have it uh, here my web kit uh, let's launch there we go and let's see if we didn't make any mistake so if i tap here there we go we just slide it in nicely uh, a details view of the opportunity and if i tap the back button as you can see we just um, puffed the view from uh, from the stack of the views um, all right so I think that that's that's pretty uh, it uh, in terms of uh, how to build the application and uh, stay tuned for the next episode where I'll cover cover how to actually package that application uh, using Fonga build service for multiple uh, devices or multiple platforms uh, okay so thank you very much and bye